problematic than the experience uh, on uh, many years. Uh, I personally became interested in this problematics uh, more than 30 years ago. And at present, uh, our team uh, is composed from uh, orthopedic surgeons, pediatricians, anthropologists, uh, clinical geneticists and molecular geneticists and uh, plastic surgeon. factors with secondary effects of skeletal system. Uh, we uh, uh, recognize metabolic, enzymatic and hormonal disorders. Uh, Disostosis are skeletal malformations uh, that occur uh, singly or in combination. They are static or occur during Blastogenesis. It means first eight weeks uh, of ontogenesis. Of. Skeletal dysplasias present after embryonic period. Uh, typically, is general skeletal involvement and uh, skeletal dysplasia continue to evolve as a result of active gene involvement through life, through cerebral cloud. Incidence of disostosis is approximately uh, 0.1 to 1 to 1,000 lift births. Uh, uh, skeletal dysplasias uh, uh, are usually uh, 0.30 to 0.35 to 1,000 lift births. Uh, yeah, everybody can read it on text slide. <laughs> uh, these places are symmetrical abnormalities of the whole skeleton. Typically, it's short disproportional stature. Abnormalities of shape of skull, thorax, vertebral column, and extremities. Uh, there are variously serious malfunctions of joints, especially in adulthood. Uh, the bone dysplasias or skeletal dysplasia, osteochondral dysplasias plus dysostosis at present are uh, included into the uh, big group called genetic skeletal disorders. What are the causes of changes in shape and structure of skeleton? These are molecular genetic causes. Uh, I mentioned primary skeletal dysplasias, and the second are uh, hormonal, metabolic, enzymatic disorders. And uh, in uh, last year, were included uh, a lot of nosologic units. Uh, uh, that are causes by teratogenic influence in critical sensitive periods of ontogenesis. And uh, uh, the final uh, shape and uh, uh, ch changes of structure in skeleton uh, are uh, caused by so-called functional adaptation of bones or bone remodeling. Uh, uh, 
1995, Har Harold Frost formulated so-called paradigm of bone physiology. According to this uh, paradigm, uh, the leading role in functional adaptation of bone uh, plays uh, uh, mechanical hold, uh, mechanical impulses. Diagnostics is based on clinical and anthropological, radiological, genetic and molecular genetic examination. In some cases also histological and electromicroscopic examination is, uh, is suitable. Uh, radiological diagnostics only in gross period. Uh, there is broad variability of skeletal deformities, disproportion and malfunction of joints at the same nosologic unit. And genetic heterogeneity is uh, typical for some bone dysplasias, for example, syndrome of osteoimperfecta. imperfecta. There are known uh, more than 200 uh, hundred molecular defects at present. Uh, and what is necessary is also diagnosis of joint systemic uh, disorders. Uh, clinical anthropology is uh, aimed uh, to help with genetic uh, diagnosis. Uh, we used uh, the method of uh, anthropometry in timing of surgery and also to assess the results of therapy. Application uh, of uh, anthropology uh, into pediatric orthopedics was uh, named uh, orthopedic anthropology by Professor Valentin Tobias uh, 10 years ago. Uh, in, uh, in the course of uh, the International Congress of Aleš Hrdlička uh, in, in Prague. And from that time we use uh, uh, sub-branch or uh, orthopedic anthropology. Discovery of X-rays became the basis for diagnosis of skeletal defects and bone disorders and for development of classification and nomenclatures. Recent introduction of CT with 3D reconstruction, MRI methods and densitometry DEXA allowed next progress in morphological diagnosis of bone diseases. The, uh, I mentioned X-ray classification is the basis for uh, diagnosis. We recognize normal shape and structure of epiphysis and uh, metaphysis and of vertebral bodies. And, and on the other hand, we uh, recognize uh, so-called epiphysal dysplasias metaphysical displaces and then combination. Uh, these are uh, spondyloepiphysal displaces and spondylometaphysal displaces and uh, more, most severe are spondyloepimetaphysal displaces. Uh, aims of uh, diagnostics uh, is categorization into nosologic unique units, uh, determination of etiopathogenesis, uh, secondly, determination of etiopathogenesis in the, in the third place, investigation of associated congenital developmental defects of remaining system, so-called uh, joint disorders, uh, <laughs> the next is to choice of appropriate therapy. Uh, 
and last but not last is uh, prenatal and uh, pre-symptomatic diagnostics in affected family. Uh, classification is generally a basis for differentiation of deviations. It helps to include observed defects into non-syndromes and nosologic units. It contributes to specify diagnosis, incidents and epidemiological studies. Uh, diagnostics and classification provide an overview on diseases of the medical branch. It reflects the level of scientific progress. Uh, the first international nomenclature of constitutional uh, and or intrinsic disorders of bones uh, arise in 1969 in Paris and then after uh, approximately five or more years uh, these nomenclatures were revised. Aims of uh, this uh, uh, first nomenclature and revisions uh, were to form classification, to unify terminology, uh, eliminate uh, synonyms, uh, substitute uh, the term dwarfisms by term dysplasia and include new bone displaces. There are still some deficiencies. These are incompleteness, chaotic arrangement, mixture of clinical and radiological and etiopathogenic classifications. Uh, at present, uh, th th there is the seventh revision. It uh, contains 456 conditions that were included in 240 groups. Uh, these uh, are defined by molecular, biochemical and or radiographic criteria. At present, the nosology is a hybrid between a list of clinically defined disorders waiting for molecular clarification and an annotated database documenting the phenotypic spectrum produced by mutations in a given gene. Uh, the criteria used for inclusion of individual disorders were unchanged from the previous revision in 2006. Uh, they are significant skeletal involvement corresponding to the definition of skeletal displacements or metabolic bone disorders, or dysostosis, and or skeletal malformation and reduction syndromes. Secondly, publication and or listing in Mendel inheritance of men, meaning that observations should not find their way into the nosology before they achieve peer-reviewed publication status. Genetic basis proven by pedigree or very likely based on homogeneity of phenotype in unrelated families presence. Uh, nosologic autonomy was confirmed by molecular or linkage analysis and or by the distinctive diagnostic features and observation in multiple individuals or families. Uh, we are uh, we classified uh, according to uh, uh, nosologies and nomenclatures uh, our cohort of patients and we uh, <coughs> adopted uh, uh, the cohort of our patient according to this last uh, nosology from this nosology was published in 2011 in the journal American Journal of Medical Genetics. 
during 19 years uh, existence uh, of the Ambulance Center for Defects of the Apparatus, uh, we diagnosed 112 nosologic units in a group of 619 patients. These units were categorized into 36 groups. Uh, you, you can look at uh, cohort of our uh, uh, patients in the journal locomotor system. Uh, uh, it is uh, written on text line. Uh, uh, for most of these patients, uh, we uh, comprehensive treatment uh, we carried out. Uh, after uh, our 20 years experience, uh, we uh, we diagnosed uh, uh, due to close cooperation with Professor Kazimierz Kozlowski. Uh, uh, three new nosologic units. These are spondylopathy dysplasia with metatarsal shortening for nickel check dysplasia, uh, severe uh, uh, mesomelic dysplasia with increased neck translucency and teratology of fault in VAM and assisted <coughs> myeloma in the other. And the uh, uh, third new nosologic unit is spondylometaphysal dysplasia type 4, a new form or a variant. This is uh, typical X-ray changes in uh, patients with check dysplasia. This dysplasia belong to so-called epi, epi, uh, spondyl epiphyseal dysplasias. It means that there are changes of epiphysis in children. In, in adults, there is uh, osteoarthritis and uh, spondyl arthritis. Uh, in a very young age, the, uh, after finish of growth, uh, the degenerative uh, changes of uh, big joints and spine uh, are present and, uh, and cause difficulties uh, to patients. Uh, severe mesomelic dysplasia with teratology of fallout or cystic egroma in two fetuses. On X-ray you can see mark shortening of the forearms and the legs with manusvara uh, on both sides. Uh, heart, tetra, uh, heart was uh, uh, changed, there were tetralogy of fallout. Lungs were hypoplastics with normal fetal histology. And on x also is uh, platyspondyly of the whole spine. I, uh, sorry. <laughs> and the uh, third case, spondometrial dysplasia, type 4, any form or variant. Also, on the right side, you see uh, severe changes of metaphysis, epiphysis, and vertebral bodies. Uh, uh, typically, short stage congenital progressive scoliosis, progressive genuvalgum, deformity, and lack of ossification of the capital femoral epiphysis at the age 11 years. Uh, medicament treatment is possible only in a few nosologic units. Uh, generally, we can use 
substitution treatment, for example, calcitriol and phosphates and hypophosphatemic rickets, acalizidase, beta, so-called fabrazine and fabry disease. Uh, prophylactic type of treatment is, for example, diet at phenylketonuria, alkaptonuria, and so on. Operative type of treatment uh, can be used in galactosemia. Uh, uh, it is periodically seen in hyperhomocystinemia. Uh, uh, patients are treated with folate and cyanocobaltamine, osteoporosis, uh, prim primary osteoporosis is uh, treated with uh, uh, calcium, vitamin D, bisphosphonate, spiral hormone, strontium ranelate, denosumab, and so on and so on. A lot of drugs are, are on the market at present. Uh, Osteolytic syndromes can be symptomatic treated also by, by bisphosphonates, vitamin D, calcium, and other calciotropic drugs. Uh, as prospective uh, medicament treatment is uh, uh, growth hormone. It is sufficient, uh, it is efficient in Turner syndrome, Russell syndrome, and some osteochondral dysplasias. Bone marrow transplantation was successfully used at some times of mucoplasaccharidosis in infantile uh, autosomal recessive osteopetrosis and other units. Uh, gene therapy is future at some bone metabolic diseases. Aims uh, of surgical treatment are correction of long bone deformities and shortenings, prolongation of long bones, surgery of hip and knee joints, reconstruction of hand and foot defects, and correction of vertebral defects or formation of formation segmentation. Orthotic treatment and physiotherapy uh, have similar aims or the same aims. Uh, these are correction of long bone deformities. Uh, it is possible by uh, s s three points principle. Uh, uh, next is correction of joint contractures correction of spine deformities. Uh, three points principle uh, is acting on gross plates as in extremities as in spine. Uh, Delpech Wolf, Wolf or uh, Hitler Volkman law is uh, uh, the biomechanical uh, principle uh, of uh, uh, treatment in, in the area of growth plates. Uh, and uh, uh, orthotic fittings is also used uh, before and after plant surgical treatment. This is an example, of course, effect of orthosis, three points principle in the region of uh, knee joint. Uh, you see a boy uh, with pseudoachondroplasia, very, it's very severe, Spondyloepimetaphyseal dysplasia. We begin uh, treat this child in the age 
five years by uh, corrective orthosis of legs and You, uh, sorry. you see the result of, uh, of uh, five-year orthotic treatment. Uh, four years we treated in uh, bowing of uh, legs by this uh, orthosis with uh, high pre stressing and uh, the last year we treated uh, malposition of knee and ankle joints by this type of orthosis. It is uh, you see uh, treatment of Toddler uh, with uh, hypercorrective brace. Uh, there were there uh, was the deformity uh, in lumbar spine uh, due to hemivertebra L1 and L3. And um, the corpse angle uh, in, uh, was uh, changed from 47 to 32 degrees. We uh, went on in treatment uh, and after 12 months of bracing, uh, the correction according to Cobb's angle was uh, 12 degrees. And uh, after five years of bracing, uh, we proved next correction of Cobb's angle. Uh, uh, in, in six years, you see this shape of spine and in 14 months in the beginning of treatment the deformity was much worse. Uh, it means that bone remodeling loss are true for physical growth of congenital wedge and heavy wedge vertebrae too. This is patient with achondroplasia. Uh, we uh, elongated uh, shanks in the uh, first stage, and then in two stages, uh, uh, right and the left uh, femur. The result of lengthening was 18.5 centimeters is adult height uh, is 148 centimeters uh, prediction of adult height was only 130 centimeters I would like to, to mention that there are some differences uh, between uh, between adult height and uh, uh, and uh, uh, between the lengthening of single bones, uh, the uh, result uh, in adult is usually uh, lower uh, than. Uh, elongated uh, lengths on single segments. This is, I think, due to uh, stress of patient during lengthening and also uh, 
due to high press uh, during lengthening on gross plates. Uh, patient with hypochondroplasia, the uh, same treatment, lengthening of uh, shanks and later in two stages, one and a second femur. Uh, uh, adult height was 150 centimeters. Uh, <coughs> predicted height in adulthood was only 133 centimeters. 